。这两颗木牙精，把辛格叫来对付咱们。莫汉德森这人不地道。你怎么和辛格在一块？你应该在与法尔交手。依我推测，就隐瞒了法尔具体位置的情报。又怕他找法尔报私仇，这颗木牙精与辛格做了一笔交易。那东边的木牙精呢？所以就把辛格拉过来了。你的坐标就是法尔的位置，我帮他找到法尔，争夺其他木牙精，他就再也不和极限武馆。一旦找到，不知道罗峰冰山他们是否顺利？嗯。
生命之水，应该可以发挥最大效力。手臂切断时间还在可控范围，发二长老。啊啊元老，他是奔着那里的三颗木牙精去的，正在朝罗峰方向赶去。冰山说，莫汉德森抢走了他手上的木牙精。我们加快速度。我还能饶你不死，罗峰，把那三颗木牙精交出来。在我面前也是无处遁形。即使如此，规避我的精神攻击。这小子打算躲到岩层里。哼！主要分成三种：精神面式的攻击手段，杀敌于无声无息中，渗透入人心里，可悄无声息，却不断将自己的念力送入我的识海。伊斯特为了持续控制我。
次我们四人一共得到五颗木牙鸡，你管主。嗯，罗峰，做的不错。其中三颗由罗峰所得。封印，他也在这儿。苏维埃特最强长老索克洛夫，雷神，这是第一梯队，强的是红。地球上现如今最强，就牵制住了第三元老和第四元老，存在。成为超过第三、第四、第五元老，罗峰怕是要跻身第二梯队。经此一役，全是因为罗峰，这次机械武馆赚翻了，一的精神也是了。他已经是世界第一。这次木牙精的消息传开，极限武馆的其他巡查室也赶来了，连第三元老和第四元老都忌惮，尤其是那罗凤。胖导，多躲远点吧。极限武馆这次战力最强。再没有更大的发现。我们将雾岛周围和地底都探索过了，只是总觉得这底下还有东西。蒋一长老也因没有发现外星文明的大佬，自那之后，只有第三、第四元动静提前回寒下了。而且这几天探测到的木牙鲸数量少，没有再爆发更大规模的冲突。各方都因顾虑，连雾岛的长老也变少了。很多。启动暗示，目标锁定Shown in episode 63 this time, Bing Shan is being baited to distract Mo Henderson by taking one of the wood crystals. Meanwhile, Liu of Bing's job is to pick up the other three scattered wood crystals. In Bing Shan's fight against the third elder, it seems that he is too overwhelmed to face him. Because the power is quite far adrift. Even though they are both ice controllers, Mo Henderson's strength is very dominating. And as a result the third elder managed to snatch the wood crystal from Bing Shan's hand. Bing Shan also said that this was actually just a diversion to lure Third Elder to the furthest path, for Liu Feng to get another three crystals. But the Third Elder also said that his people were still there. Before dealing with Liu Feng, he will also destroy Bing Shan first, then return to Liu Feng to finish the business. Bing Shan kept provoking Third Elder. She said if Liu Feng met the Elder and was with Mo Henderson, even he is not afraid of Mo Henderson at level three star traveler. How can an ordinary Elder be his opponent? And also before the third elder destroys Bing Shan, then loses the chance to get three more wood crystals. Mo Henderson said he didn't even know whether his man could beat Liu Feng or not. He also plans to take care of Bing Shan as soon as possible, and immediately attacked him. Shown to Liu Feng, he also thanked Bing Shan for diverting Mo Henderson, and he pin can easily beat the other elders. Liu Feng left to find another crystal. Before long, Liu Feng felt someone's presence. And he was none other than the Yuzit Fourth Elder, 
and Lula Feng had actually realized it from the start, in the battle against the American elder, because in his attacks he felt a mental power. And it turned out to be true it was the fourth elder. Lula Feng also said because he didn't interfere, and besides, the bottom has the largest number of wood crystals. Who wouldn't be greedy? Lua Feng also asked, did third elder send you over? Or come alone? Lua Feng had expected it to, for letting him get rid of the people in America first. So as not to destroy the alliance. As they compete over the wood crystals. Fourth elder also replied, if there are some things that can be done but not said. And if too honest, it is very dangerous. Lua Feng also warned fourth elder as a junior, because each new generation surpasses the previous one. In today's battle, even though the Fourth Elder's alliance was disintegrated, the difference in numbers with the extreme martial hall remained unchanged. Fourth Elder said, what capital does Luo Feng have for such nonsense? Luo Feng said that even if three allies were encountered at the same time they wouldn't be afraid either. The wood crystal is ours. Back to Bing Shan, he also had a lot of trouble facing the Third Elder, but he also kept trying his best to restrain the Third Elder. Bing Shan also admits that he is indeed very strong, but can't allow to find others. Third Elder said, you think you can hold me down? He can make Europe and Daytar alliance partners. Of course, can easily get another pair. They weren't just three partners, but four misters. Shown to he shoot one of the leader's guards, but when he defeated the two elders he also had a guest from the Vatican named Singh. Elder Singh said he was able to beat the two elders alone, and as expected of a guard the first elder. He also asked politely, regarding the existence of wood crystal, where to get it. Yi Shu also said, you can't, fight if you want and don't beat around the bush. It is shown that Singh is starting a special ritual, to gather energy. And the fight began. But Yi Shu's ferocious attacks even Singh could easily avoid. Singh's moves are the same as his own character, just waiting for his chance to win with one move. Not long after, Yi Shu immediately used his forbidden technique. Increasing his physical strength. By excessively sacrificing his life. It was shown that Yi Shu's attack this time was several times more intense than before. Even Singh was hit hard. Also said if you are strong enough Singh. But Yi Shu also said, then hit me hard. Then we will see if you are the Lion King or just a poodle. It's shown that Singh is starting the ritual again. And it's a yogic technique from the Vatican. And it's a unique way to absorb cosmic energy. And they exchanged blows again which created a terrifying explosive force. Their fighters are very fierce, it is shown that both of them have equal strength. It is also said that Yi Shu is unbeatable in close combat at a distance of 100 meters in this world. The fighters this time were so crazy that they even ignored defense and attacked each other non-stop. It was shown that the elders from America would call and ask for help. But she knew about it, and was about to nimbly stop him, but because the one they contacted was far. He was furious, he said if this dead of blood will never forget him. He also asked them whereabouts of Elder Far, but because the communication had been turned off they didn't know it either. Yi Shu also said to Singh, if you want to avenge your brother he offered to make a deal. Moved to another part, shown two water crystals to be taken by elders from America. But Yao Rao came and stopped the man. When he was about to take the wood crystal suddenly there was a fireball attack, and it turned out to be far. And a fight ensued. Shown if the battle this time is also balanced. But far says his power is much stronger than Yarao's power. For with my fire Yao Rao will not be able to hold it. But yes Rao is also very smart in taking advantage of the situation he also carries far to fight underwater. It is shown that far is helpless to fight in the water. He is sucked in by a very strong current. Soon it is shown that Singh and his men have come, he angrily says. Fair was finally able to find you. Far Elder said, have you gone mad, Europe and the Vatican are allies. How dare you attack your ally. Far is still pretending to be innocent by asking why. It is shown that Singh is also very brutal to beat Far, and he also replies that this is revenge for Mahia. You are an ungrateful European. And the Vatican has also chosen its allies again. When he was about to finish far, the other elders came and saved him. And the episode is finished this time, it will also be shown in the preview of the next episode, it will definitely be even more interesting, and if you like this content, 
Don't forget to press subscribe like comment and share. Thank you. See you soon, and bye bye.